a date is being given by the Illuminati to trap the New Age people. To trap them into believing they have to prepare for this date so they're caught totally unawares by what's going to happen in the next two months. There's a little comet called Elenin. Every time this little comet is in alignment with our planet and either the sun or some other body, there's a major earthquake. Now, vibrational harmonics work such that if they directly line up, you get an amplification of energy. February 27th, 2010, this little comet was in a direct alignment between the Earth and the Sun. On that date, there was an earthquake in Chile. That's just a coincidence, isn't it? Well, there was another coincidence. Because when the Earth came around the other side here, and the Earth was in alignment, and then the comet was a little bit closer, but they're in alignment again, and that was September 4th, 2010, there was an earthquake in Christchurch. And then the Earth came back round again, and then the next time it was in alignment with the Sun, and now this is closer, March 11th, there's an earthquake in Japan. Once is a coincidence, twice is pushing it, three times, wait a minute, something's going on here. The other one that will happen is August 17th, I've gone publicly on this one, because there is an alignment between the Earth, Venus, the Sun and Mercury, they're in a straight line, and Nibiru is at right angles to the Sun. It is 7.16pm Central Time on Wednesday, August 17th, 2011, and today the USGS finally let through a 6.0 earthquake. It was a 6.2 that happened off the coast of Honshu, Japan, and since then there's been several 4 and 5.0s. Also, several just, I mean, back-to-back -back ones and twos all in the same spot. So many that if you look through California, I have to turn the rings down first of all, and even then they're just one on top of the other. So many you can't even see. And if I just go the past few days, so there you go, guys. I just wanted to show you that our earthquake activity is still increasing. Um, also, I put this out yesterday on my blog, USGS literally knocking earthquakes down a notch, trying to push 6.0s under the rug. And I give you evidence. I went and pulled the e EMSC 6.0s for this past week, and there's been three now. So 6.0, another 6.0 off Honshu, Japan. And just so everybody knows, the Indonesian agency reported their 6.0 as a 6.5. So we're talking orders of magnitude higher are being reported locally. And then on the ESMC, it says 6. On the USGS, I've got it all the way down here at the bottom. It's not even, it's listed, I think, as a 5.7. And then the Japan quake is listed as a 5.9. So what they do is they downgrade them so they don't show up as a large earthquake on the earthquake warning maps. So the next alignment happens on September 26th this year, and it is between us and the sun. And at that point, it is 0 0.38 away from us. And they're saying nothing about this? Minsher Amar Basic came out with his paper on April 11th called Astronomical Alignments as the Cause of Magnitude 6 Plus Seismicity. In his paper he included the Elenin Comet because of the pattern of big quakes. With the data according to what we're supposed to see. One problem is that on an alignment on February 27, 2010 in Chile 8.8 quake, the Earth aquifer shifted, the Earth axis shifted three inches. The next year, Japan quake on March 11th, here we have another alignment, and look what, look what happens. Earth axis shifted four inches. Earth As we go into the future, then you're going to see a different pattern. LA is going to continue to increase in speed until the object reaches perigee position right here. The dark blue line represents Ellie below the plane. The light blue line represents Ellie above the plane. You can see that after 
Ellie comes through, Ellie's going to skate off and rise. Uh, here's the important part to be looking at. As we march the day forward, the days forward, watch Ellie. And what happens on September 11th? That's the day this baby reaches perigee directly in the center of the orbit next to this, closest to the sun. If you look at the 4.482 AU distance from the sun and back it up a day, you're going to see an increase and an increase because this is the time that the Ellen object is, is at perigee. And here's the Earth right in the way. Now, as we bring the days forward, you're going to see an important alignment come up right here. This alignment spells trouble for our planet. You notice that it's going to be the end of the day when Ellie crosses right between the Earth and the Sun directly on the ecliptic plane. Then if we continue, back this out just a little bit, and continue, on the 17th you're going to see 0.232 AU away when this object is the nearest. And when you continue on through, then you're going to see November 22nd is another alignment day, just like 311, except for this time the object is only 0.58 AU away instead of 2.1 AU away on the inbound side. So we're looking at another Japan quake situation that is far, far worse. So these are warning signs that people need to wake up and to join a survival group and to be ready for this summer because it looks like that we're in for a very, very, very rough ride.